My name is Carla Oris, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Drama, and I teach technical theater and design. Theater design for me is really exciting because it's about collaboration. It's not me sitting in a studio by myself, isolated. I get to have an idea, throw the ball back to somebody, and then they get to throw it back to me, and I get to have new ideas. And there's not too many jobs where you get to do that. So it's really um, rewarding to have that opportunity. The designing of a play involves all of the visual material that you look at as an audience member when you go to watch. So there's somebody who's taking care of the scenery element, the lighting, the sound, the costumes, the props. So anything that you see other than the acting is a designer's role. In the beginning, they need to start with a script. Uh, that's really the blueprint to the visual design. We have to start somewhere. So my job begins with reading the script numerous times, but really the first time to enjoy it, to get excited about the piece you're working on. And then I work subconsciously a lot. Not that every designer works that way, but I tend to read the play, then go look at research material, whether it's a magazine or scrolling on the internet <laughs> or watching a movie, something that related back towards that script, and then start drawing and sketching. And then this is the opportunity where I get to collaborate and I can bring the director back and we can have a discussion about what were their thoughts. Maybe they're the same, maybe they're different. <laughs> and that's, again, another exciting point of theater is that you actually get to have a voice and say, this is what I'm going to bring to it. My role in sound design is giving the audio that isn't in the script but is there as words, which is really kind of weird sometimes because you read a script and it says, uh, the birds chirp. So as a sound designer, you need to stop and go, well, what kind of bird? So it's kind of an interesting category because, again, it's not necessarily visual. It's audio for sure, right? The top three things to consider when designing set. Uh, first, of course, is your script. Second, I would say, would be location and time period. So you need to find out if things are appropriate. Are, are they, is it a play that's set in 1800s based to present day? And what materials did they have? And make sure that you provide that look accurately. The th third thing would definitely be the actor. I need to then start thinking about actor's movement, even though you would think that that's the director's job. The designer needs to think, how are they going to physically move through the space? And how do I help them? I've designed some things before where I've needed to go back and relook at them because we thought, oh, that's going to be really difficult for the actors to walk on if I give them a really uh, steep set of stairs or I need them to move levels really fast or they have to move through the space really quickly. So a design, set designer really needs to think about the movement of those actors on stage. As a designer, I think that that's my main objective is how do I help tell the story? I'm another storyteller. I just, my voice is in everything that's visual. So any way that I can help the concept, if the directors come up with a concept, or the storyline. 